Hey guys, welcome back to another Christmas special. <laughs> and today I've got quite the movie for you. As you know, it's become a tradition to make Star Wars movies released in theaters for Christmas. So today I'm going to be reviewing The Star. <laughs> Not Star Wars, but The Star. So, um, the, the star, what, what is there to say about this film, really? It's, um, it's a retelling of the Joseph and Mary story from the Bible. And this is probably the Christmassiest story this year in theaters. Um, so that's why I went to this one. I wasn't going a Bad Mom's Christmas, that's for sure. Because I haven't seen the first one. I don't know if I'd be missing out on some crucial plot points or anything. <laughs> But anyways, um, I, I'm glad I, I went to this one so I could have some recent Christmassy movie here. And it kind of kind of fits in differently compared to the, the other movies I'm reviewing this week. Um, other than that, th th those were the only positives I really have to say about it. I mean, the, the um, animation wasn't terrible. It looked fine in stills at least. But I know some of the lip syncing wasn't even that good. Like, it, it only vaguely matched what the characters were saying. Um, and the casting didn't seem all that great. It seemed really random. And it seemed like they were picking a bunch of washed up has been actors who uh, were relevant maybe five years ago. Uh, maybe that's because, you know, that might be all the budget really allotted them. But, um,. Yeah, very, very dull movie. Um, I was talking to David about this. Um, maybe I should have brought him along for this, but oh well. Um, t taking Bible stories... You know, you know, Bible stories are fine on their own. I, I'm not a religious person by any means, but they work well, you know. I love The Passion of the Christ. Very good movie. Um... But when you add other things to them, it kind of ruins them. Like, say, adding talking animals into the, the, the Joseph and uh, Mary story. And the donkey leads them to Bethlehem. Might, might be a bit ridiculous for, for a movie. Um, it's got a lot of cringy humor. Some jokes literally make no sense, like they're actually head-scratchers. Like, there's some jokes in movies that are just bad. And then there's these jokes, which literally make no sense. There's a scene where the three wise men lead uh, the camels into the, uh, the Caesar's palace or whatever. And uh, there's these guard dogs, and the guard dogs are like, Hey, wanna play How High? Oh yeah, I love how high. And then they uh, bark and growl at the camels. And the camels get scared and stack up. And the one dog's like, yeah, camel high. <laughs> I was just like, how is that a joke? Is that like some some pun? Like, I, I don't get it. <laughs> and there were so many moments in the movie like that too. Or the jokes were just so obvious. It... <sighs> I, I don't want to go this route, but... You know, there, there's those Christian people who are like the Ned Flanders type. I, I feel like this movie was made by a bunch of Ned Flanders types, you know? <laughs> um, I, I live with a Christian family, and they've got a sense of humor. This movie does not. <laughs> It's very dull, very unfunny, and even though I think it's got good intentions, it's actually quite unbiblical as well, even though it's trying really hard to be a Christian movie. <laughs> um, there's even a scene with the donkey praying, and it's really, really freaking bad. He's like, I don't know if... Hey God, I don't know if you listen to donkey prayers. I think I'm doing this right, but like, I just hope Joseph and Mary are safe. And it's just like, oh, why is this? Like, really? Really? I mean, 
I honestly was expecting much worse going into this movie, but it wasn't good all the same. Um, I wouldn't recommend this one <laughs> by any means. Um, it's a story we've heard thousands of times, likely. Um, and it's just told in a less meaningful way and a much more modernized way. Like, when Mary's pregnant and she's- oh my god, this beeping in the background. Stop. Why- why does a dryer need to have like a 20 second jingle for when the clothes are done? I- uh, oh well. Anyways, off of that tangent. Um, yeah, it's just so, so dumb. So very dumb, and the characters are okay. Okay, going back to modernizing. She's trying to uh, come up with how to tell Joseph she's pregnant. She's like, there's a line in the movie where she's like, Oh, how am I going to tell Joseph about you, little guy? I'm thinking like, really, why? Like, people from 2,000 years ago talking like with modern day lingo? Yeah, I get they, they didn't talk English, period. But like, it just seems so... It, it pulls me out of the movie. It feels like I'm watching like a... A 2017 remake of a Bible story. <laughs> it, it feels like satire, almost. It's just... It's such clashing eras that don't work with each other. And it's like you've got people who worked on this movie who legitimately thought it worked. Who are like, oh, this is a nice, wholesome, funny movie we made for our kids. But it's just... It, it isn't? And it's funny because the uh, trailer was awful and the trailer had all of the best jokes and gags in it. The most cliched stuff imaginable. Like uh, they, they use the joke where the animals are, are talking to the people trying to explain the situation and oh ha 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 they're just making animal noises. <laughs> and they reuse that joke like three times. Um, Joseph's a moron in this movie, like, completely and utterly hopelessly stupid. Um, there's not much conflict besides the, the Romans chasing them throughout the movie. And they're not very threatening either. It's a very, very dull family movie. Um, very safe. Um, it, it's like... The, the conflict is barely a conflict at all. And every character that can possibly get a redemption gets one. And it's very fabricated, let's say. Um, I, I didn't like this movie. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. Not a good one. Um, not the worst I've seen. But definitely on the, the lower end of the spectrum. I'm probably going to give this one a 2 out of 10. Thank you for, uh, for, for watching this video and be sure to smash that, that like button if you agree or if, you, you, or if you're not going to see it and you're just going to blindly agree with my opinion, you, you sheeple. <laughs>